Hi everyone, welcome back to Andrew's Attic. I hope you're all well. Um, just a quick disclaimer, this is an adult channel. We talk about adult topics um, and these videos are not made for children in any way, shape or form, nor are they intended for children in any way. So, it's St. Patrick's Day. So I'm actually filming this on Monday the 16th. When you see this, it'll be Tuesday the 17th, St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, I thought we'd do a St. Patrick's colour in today, even though we haven't finished Gothic Fairies. We will do, carry on with that later. Um, just because um, with everything that's going on in the world, all the St. Patrick's Day parades have been um, cancelled, which is a great shame. Um, I, for one, I've been to Dublin on St. Patrick's Day. It's the most amazing place to be. Um, so we're going to do Kawaii Grayscale. And we're going to do this one here so we've got the, we've got the shamrocks we've got the rainbows and all that and we are actually going to uh, use the everblend markers on this one and just have a nice color do as much as we can have a little chat and catch up and uh, we'll just uh, see how it goes so I just would like to say um, hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you for joining me. It really is appreciated. So thank you very much. We are very slowly approaching 1,000. I think we're at 730 now. So we are getting there. So thank you for joining me. So first things first, wherever you are in the world, how are you? How are things where you are? So obviously I'm in Wales in the UK. Um, we're just using peach at the moment, which is A9425. Um, so in the UK at the moment, it, things are escalating. So they had a, a COBRA meeting today, COBRA's the emergency um, sessions. And um, the Prime Minister announced that um, people, although they're not going to enforce it as yet, people should refrain from going out to pubs, clubs, restaurants bars theaters gathering places like that um by the end of the week they want the elderly over 70s and those at risk to stay indoors potentially for up to three months now at the moment they haven't specified who the at-risk groups are although they have said any adult who is recommended has a flu jab every year now i fall into that category so I don't know. I've got to see what my work says. Obviously, at the moment, they're keeping schools, childcare, nurseries open because they don't want to make it too bad yet. But it's, it's, they will close. I'm, I'm sure they will at some point. Um, obviously, if the, if the nursery shuts and they have been discussing whether or not to close, I will be off work because I won't have any childcare Um I'm colouring and I haven't put anything underneath this picture. <gasps> Naughty Andy! Let me just get a piece of cardboard. I've normally got one um, that moves from book to book, but it's not because I've got. I'll just grab a few sheets. See, it just goes to show that none of us are 100% with it at the moment. Fortunately, we're using a very light colour, so it's not actually done any damage to the page underneath. <laughs> So yes, so anybody who has a cough now or a fever or a new, new dry cough and a fever, them and their entire household has got to self-isolate for 14 days. It's going to be interesting because obviously if they're not letting the the over 70s out, they, it's not they can't go out. They just want them, don't want them to go to places where there's a lot of people. So for instance, they can go out for a walk, walk the dog if they want to, but they're not advising they go shopping or... Um, to theatres or holidays and things like that they're advising they, they, they try and stay away from crowds so it's not that they can't go out it's just it's the circumstances so for instance my dad likes to go for a walk he went for a walk today down by the river um, he'll still be able to do that but the idea is to try and limit contact with other people who may be infected which is understandable now, my parents are lucky in the sense they've got me. At the moment, I can still get their shopping if necessary. Um, but obviously, if that changes, we'll have to look at it another way. Perhaps Paul will have to do it. I don't, I don't know. Um, but for people who haven't got anybody, it's going to be very um, a difficult time. 
obviously all care homes and assisted living places are not allowing visitors anymore obviously hospitals aren't I think if you're in the, on the maternity ward you can have one visitor but no children are allowed it's all very 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 um, trying but some of the advice given is quite wishy-washy there's no definitives to say okay if you suffer from chronic asthma you should definitely self-isolate they're not definitely saying that they're basically leaving it up to you which is awkward because then your work will say well I'll ring 111 and see what they say but then 111 is saying don't ring us unless you need us because you're you're bad so you're kind of stuck really but uh, like I said, if the nurseries close, if, if Jennifer's nursery does close, at the moment they've got no plans to, but if they do, then of course it will be different because I will have no one to take care of her. So, but that's that. We're not going to dwell too much on that. Um, I hope things aren't too bad where you are. I know a lot of countries have closed down, so I hope you get lots of colouring done if that's uh, what you do or read in. I mean, I won't get much colouring done because of course I've got... I've got Jennifer to look after, so if we're off during the day, I'm pretty much taking care of her and playing with her because, you know, she's a child and she wants attention. Occasionally, if she's dozing, I can get a bit of colouring done, but more often than not, it's just me and her chilling, watching telly, playing, and things like that, so... But we're all pretty well, you know. I've got a cold, but it's a cold. Um, I feel really well, which is good because I've got asthma as well. I'm sure if I got it, it would hit my respiratory system quite hard. So I'm happy. Um, Paul's well. Jennifer's fine. I said, my mum and dad are well in themselves, apart from my mum still can't walk very well. So she can put weight on her foot and stand up, but they've basically said don't go to the hospital so she's just got to suffer unfortunately um. yeah it's just one of those things where until the government make a stand and say this is what needs to happen this has to stay, this has to happen. And the scientific advice say, right, those people with these conditions need to self-isolate. They need to stay out of the out of crowds and not go to work and all that. People aren't going to, to do it because they're afraid of losing their jobs. They're afraid of not being able to pay their mortgage and their bills. Now I'm lucky in the sense that if I had to stay home, Paul's got a full-time job. He potentially can work from home. I can't. Um, because of the job he does, he can remote into the work servers. And in fact, they're having a meeting about that sort of thing tomorrow. Um, but I, I, my my job, I can't. So it's just one of those things. You just have to play it by ear. And, and I think that in something like this, the Prime Minister's damned if he does and he's damned if he doesn't. So whatever he does is going to be derided by someone. So whereas people are saying, oh, you should close the schools, you should do this, you should do that, and he's not doing it. Other people would say if he did close the schools that he's overreacting. What about people who need to get to work? They've got no childcare because they can't have the grandparents after it because grandparents are too old because they fall into the at-risk group like my parents do. So I think he's damned if he does and damned if he doesn't. So I, I although I don't like him particularly, I do feel for him at the moment because whatever he does is going to be wrong for a proportion of society and some people you know but and I think that's part of why he's treading carefully but we'll we'll see what happens within the next few days it's changing daily so then have another meeting tomorrow and it could all change tomorrow it depends on how many new cases how many more deaths uh, and so on so we will just have to see it's it's scary scary times So what are you all colouring? Have you been uh, colouring very much? Um, if you're off work, if you're self-isolating or you're locked down, are you, are you getting much colouring done or reading or is there something you're watching on Netflix or Amazon Prime? Let me know in the comments below what you've been up to in this, uh, in the last few days, you know, in the last week since our last uh, video. 
So I am trying to film a weekly vlog this week. I did forget to start it this morning, but I have I have done a bit today. So we are going to try and do that. It's going to be an interesting week, which is one of the reasons I want to do it. So we can see what's happening in the world. So I will see if, if, if what the government has said makes a difference with them. For instance, rush hour traffic tomorrow night. wasn't too busy today, but it never is on a Monday. So Tuesdays are usually a busier day because people, if they can, they have Fridays and Mondays off. So Mondays and Fridays are always quieter. So it will be interesting. Although last week some people said it was like half term, but I didn't find it was particularly quiet. So at the moment we're not allowed into the nursery. Um, we've got to wait in the foyer and then somebody will come and take them to their rooms. And then when we get in, somebody will bring brings the children down to us, which is great. It means they're just trying to protect the children, which, as far as I'm concerned, is a good thing. Protecting the little ones, you know, and protecting the staff as well as much as possible. So they're re reducing the contact, which is which is how it needs to be. We do need it to be. We need to be careful. You know, but we also need to, you know be realistic it's going to be very difficult I mean if you think about my office if they shut all the schools and nurseries that would be half of the office or more than half of the office out at any one time because of childcare but the office are aware that if that happens whoever's left has to manage and it's horrible and it's not fair on them but it's unfortunately it is what it is and We've all got to be careful and act responsibly. It's like this panic buying that's going on at the moment. I don't understand why people are panic buying things like toilet roll. <coughs> don't worry, it is just a cough. I've had it for ages. It's an asthmatic cough. Um, I mean, why are people bulk buying things like toilet roll and pasta? I mean, why pasta? I mean, I, I went in to my branch of Lidl's on the weekend. Yes, there was no pasta. There was toilet roll. There was no pasta. Plenty of rice, but no pasta. So people just seem to want to panic by pasta for some reason. Not actually sure why on that. But we just did our... We did our normal shop, um, and we're happy with our normal shop, so... Okay, let's have a look at these greens. That's a nice colour green, that's a nice colour green, and that's a very nice pale green. We'll use that one. Spring green is next, which is, if I can find it, A5947. And we're going to do the shamrocks in this um, spring green. So I've got quite a few whips on the go. I've got um, a mandala on the go, which I started with um, gel pens a while back and finished. Obviously, we've got the one in Gothic Fairies on the go. This is on top of my normal whips that I still haven't finished. Um, and I've got one in the new Colour in Heaven magazine on the go, which is Gothic Alchemy, and it's all very dark grayscale. So I'm not the best at grayscale. Um, this kind of light grayscale is great, I love it. It's perfect, but the, the, the grayscale in the um, uh, alchemy book, the Gothic Alchemy, is very, very heavy, it's very dark, but it's beautiful. The, the images are beautiful and I have been colouring in one of them, so. A little bit to finish on it. And the background, I'm thinking I'm just going to leave it grey. It looks quite nice. I thought I'll just put a bit of pebbles chalk on the background, but I think it looks quite nice. Just grey. I just need to do, there's some branches in the top I need to do, so I'm going to, to do that. So, this is a nice one to do though. So 
So I've been using the markers a lot this month because it is Marker Madness Month, which is uh, the Bibbofell Colorist's, um, one of his uh, colour things. I, I can't think of what it's called. So. So mostly I, I really haven't been doing much, um, I haven't been reading much. I have started reading a book, um, which is a, a thriller, called Hot-Blooded by Lisa Gardner, I think it is. Um, it's alright. Um, but I get to read it in little bits, like when Jennifer's in bed, so I, it's very hard for me to read at the moment. It's a shame, because I love reading. Um, and then... I've been watching mostly YouTube videos lately. I've been watching uh, Watch Mojo UK, Doctor Who ones, and what was the other one? Uh, um, if you're into anything mysterious, paranormal, um, UFOs, reincarnation, time slips, that sort of stuff, there's a great channel called Weird World. Um, and I'm currently, uh, they post every, I think it's Wednesdays and Fridays, and I, I tend to binge watch them, so I leave it for a few weeks and then I binge watch what they've posted and then I go back through what I haven't watched and I'm watching the older ones at the moment, so when I finish doing this, I will be watching a few of those before I go to bed. Then I guess I watch really scary stuff before I go to bed, because I'm a bit crazy. I do find, however, that um, I go to bed late, because if I go to bed early, like, even if it's half past ten, I, I need to. Go, I usually go to bed, bed just before midnight. If I go to bed before half past ten, I will wake up around four a.m. and I can't get back to sleep. So I end up getting up, and then I come down here, sit in front of the TV, and doze off. I just can't get back to sleep in bed. So while I do doze off, it's not brilliant sleep. If I go to bed, you know, around half eleven towards midnight, then I. I tend to sleep through till pretty much when the alarm goes off. Nearly when the alarm goes off. Um, at the moment it is 10.25, so. I'm going to use pale green now, which is, if I can get it out, uh, A5959 for the little banding on her skirt. For these bits here. It's a nice colour. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Weird World is really, really good. If you're into that sort of thing, I would advise checking it out. It's one of those channels I really, really like. So it is really weird with everything. I mean, it is again getting back to this. It's everything's being cancelled from um, sporting events to um, theatre to record store days being postponed to June the twentieth. It's unprecedented. I've never known anything like it. So. It's quite, uh, it's good that people are taking it seriously, but it's also worrying. Because we never had this with the bird flu, we never had this with SARS, or any of those, but this one just seems to have done it. It seems to have gone, gone mad on it, so I don't know. I think it's just because it's spreading so quickly. It's not like it's a few people here and there. It, you know, it's like the death toll is, is jumping by, in the UK, 10 or more a day. So, And that's the ones we know about because they're not testing everybody. They're only testing people in hospital. They're not even testing people with the symptoms. I guess because it'll overwhelm the health service. So there's no, it's the, the, the count of people who've actually got it is probably a lot higher. They're only going to do it if you end up in hospital with pneumonia symptoms. So 
I gotta be honest, I'm trying, I'm putting on a braid face, but I am terrified of catching it. I had five chest infections last year that really knocked me out for a full, almost a fortnight at a time. I think it was two where I was off, I was out for a week. But the others were a fortnight each and it was just horrendous, this whole thing. And I just can't bear the thought of being that ill. It, it is just horrific. The, the thought of it being that bad that it could put me in hospital and then I wouldn't see Jennifer and I might die. And I'm sure everybody who's at risk feels like that. You know, it's scary. We're using lots of lovely spring colours. And we'll do as much of this as we can tonight and then I'll uh, try and finish it off. But, um, you know, I, I like to think, oh, if I was off, I could do lots of colouring and reading. But I wouldn't, because I'd have Jennifer with me and I'd, have, I'd be, not that I'd begrudge her a minute of my time. I'd be playing with her, even though she wants to watch CBeebies a lot. And if you turn it off, she moans, even if she's not watching it. Oops, I just put that, just dropped a bit on the cloud. I think it's a cloud. It's hard to say because those are bushes and that looks like a cloud. Oh dear me. Anyway. So, yeah, I mean, uh, you turn it off and she kicks off. You start doing something she wants to do it, so. I can sometimes get a little bit of colouring done and then as soon as she comes over I've got to put it away because she'll try and scribble over the picture. Which is understandable because she sees mummy doing it and she wants to do it. A, quite a compliment really that uh, she wants to be doing whatever mummy's doing so. Her favourite thing at the moment is Waffle, the wonder dog. She wants that on all the time. She goes, Waffle, Waffle. You're like, oh, not again. She loves it. It is a good programme, mind. I mean, as programmes go on CBeebies. The talking, talking dog is quite a good one. I like it. I suppose it's better than some of them, but uh... so we go in twenty three minutes, which is fine. It's not too bad. Now we'll just see what happens. We'll do as much as we can. Obviously, at thirty minutes, I know it's going to switch off.
Oh dear. No. Oh, I just got to do this bit here. I'm going to do a dress yellow. Because we don't want too much green because we've got a bit more green to go on. And I just think it'll brighten it up a bit. Yeah. Let's have a look. Let's put this one back for now. That was pale green. That was nice. We'll use our apple green, I think, for the plants later. Let's have a look at the yellows. I think we'll use sunflower and pineapple, maybe. Pineapple and sunflower. Pineapple. And then we use a, another light colour, and we'll use Tuscan Sun on, on these little cloud puffy sleeve things. green but I just fed up green already I should probably use glitter pen on the coins in here and up here different gold colours and silvers I think rather than just I think I'll use uh, I think that'd be nice to to do so Um, I'm, I'm assuming our teas, I haven't got them back in stock due to the uh, coronavirus thing that's going on, uh, the skin tones. So I will probably order a set of Touch 5 or Le Mache, um skin tones. Let me know what you think, which ones are best down below so I'll, I'll, I can have a look. Um, and I do need some because my Peaches and Cream Everblend is already running out because I use that one the most. And it's not one you can get four of in their um, replacements, and they don't do individuals at the moment. They are trying to do open stock individuals. Um, the strange thing is that I also have the Touch 5 set, which has skin white in it, and I've used that loads as well, and that still works well. The only problem is it doesn't show up very well on the grayscale. So on line art, it's perfect. But on grayscale, not so much. So. I admit I am starting to get a bit tired now. It's been a long day. Turning out, it looks nice. 
looks nice doesn't it so yeah the recording stops at 30 minutes so you know it's a long one when we get to 30 minutes and we're still going I'm enjoying this it's a very nice uh, picture I'm looking forward to doing this one I like this book I must admit the Jade Summer Grey scale are very easy to colour, especially with markers. So I probably will get some more, even though I've got some of their line art ones. So for instance, I've got both Vampires one in line art, but I might get them in the grey scale. I've got Light and Dark Fantasy line art. I might get the grey scale version. I haven't decided yet, because there's so many other books I want as well that, you know. So I want all the Clara Markova ones, so... They finally got Magical Delights though, so you'll see that in a haul at some point. Whether or not it'll be this month or next month, I don't know, because I can't see me buying much more this month. Just because I've got to be careful in case I am off work and they don't pay me. And I wouldn't blame them, it's not their fault. It's also not my fault, so... I know I'm not saying very much, but I am uh, miles away daydreaming and thinking about things. Jennifer's talking a lot more now. She's picking up more wor words. She says please, although it sounds like bees. She says waffle, though it sounds like awful. <sighs> sort of like awful. Um, she said, I know, the other day. Paul said to me, and she went, I know. <laughs> it was really funny. Um, and she points out this car and things like that when she sees a car. She waves bye bye to everything. <laughs> so, like, we drive past the pond at work and by the nursery, and she waves bye to the pond. She's so funny. And she loves feeding the birds in the garden with my dad. Obviously we wash our hands when she comes back in after holding the bird food. But she just loves it. She just loves being out in the garden and being with my dad. And it's really sweet. So it's going to be a shame we have to stop that soon because of this isolation thing is to keep children away from the elderly which I think is what keeps my parents going to be honest seeing Jennifer sometimes certainly when my dad was ill she's what kept him going I could just sit here and do this all night if I wasn't so tired. I've missed a bit there, that. Isn't that silly? At least I know which colour it was. I'll put that in now. I don't know how I missed that bit, considering I've done everything round it. Put this one back. Oh, I'll get that green back out. Which was pale green. Very odd. Never mind. There we go. I 
pale green. I don't know if these are in the right order or not. I don't think they are. Yeah, maybe they are. Yeah, they are. Just going to sun these little fluffy bits. Oh, I could do the ribbons in her hair that green as well, couldn't I? I'll do that in a minute. realize what this dress reminds me of now now I've colored it like this and it's really odd I've colored it in the same sort of colors as well the 1950 film called uh, A Ticket to Tomahawk which starred Dan Daly and was it Dan Daly yeah Dan Daly and I think I think it was Dan Daly Anne Baxter no yeah, Anne Baxter. And it was sort of like a, a kind of musical. There was a couple of musical numbers in it. And Marilyn Monroe had a bit part in it as a chorus girl. And I think her name was Clara. And in it, she wore... It was set in, like, um, the 1800s in America. Um, and it told the story of a railroad being built and the stagecoaches not wanting the railroad to be built. And, and so, so and so and so and so. And Marilyn played a showgirl who wore a, a green... Well, a yellow dress with green trim, and it, it just struck me that it's very, the colours are very similar to this. So go and check it out. The song they did was called Oh What a Forward Young Man. So go check it out. I'm sure it'll be on YouTube somewhere, and you'll see what I mean by the. That's her thumb, so I need to colour that in flesh. You'll see what I mean. Go and check it out. It's very. It's just, it just reminded me of her dress from that film because of the colours I've done it in could have done a lot more green but I, yeah there is going to be a bit more green on the page obviously I'll put some in her hair and obviously there's the the leaves and things I might even do the tankard green colour as well. Right, I'm just going to get this uh, pale green out again. Got an itch. Oh, and I still missed one of those on, on there. Oh. oh, dear me. See what I mean? It's just not, I'm not with it today. It's just, there's just too much going on. And it's it's so worrying that I can't concentrate, which is probably why I haven't been colouring very much, because I don't want to ruin my pictures. And yeah, I probably should have put more green and done a dress a bit more green, but I didn't want to. I don't want everything green, even though it's art supposed to be like it's St. Patrick's Day one for me. And I should make sure I finish this tomorrow. Though it probably won't be on camera. There we are. Yeah, thumb, wasn't it? Oh, I remember. The only thing is these pens are hard to get back in their slots sometimes. Not always, but uh, sometimes they can be quite difficult to get back in their slot. So the thumb is just here. Just do the ribbons in her hair and then I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a night because I'm absolutely shattered and the battery's running out so it's a good a place as any to stop. If you want to see me finish colouring this on camera let me know and I will. Obviously I want to get back to doing gothic fairies as well so we've got two on the go at the moment. Um, I probably could have picked a lot simpler picture to do for St Patrick's Day you know there's the Deborah Muller one that she had on her her um 
Facebook group. Um, I just haven't downloaded it and there's a few others I could have done. But I really like this one and I wanted to have a go at this one. So Let me know if you want me to finish this on camera. I can certainly do that for you. Um, or do you want me to go back to doing Gothic Fairies? Let me know in the comments below. But uh, that's where she is at the moment. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave me a comment, share it and subscribe. If you're not already a subscriber, I really do appreciate all of you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.